the midst of the battle, a dark mist enshrouded everything around me. I tried casting a fire to help me see my surroundings, but somehow the flames did not appear. It was then that a tremendous force pierced my head, a force too strong to resist. Something was draining my life force, but there was nothing I could do to stop it. Blinded by the pain, I attempted to strike out at whoever was standing behind me, but my body did not move. A voice. I heard a crystalline and enchanting voice uttering words in a language I did not know. Had I heard that voice before? For a moment I felt as if I was falling into a bottomless abyss, plunging into the shadows below. The darkness. Fear. The strong pulling of Uriah's power had knocked me unconscious. I had been defeated, caught off guard. I had failed. When I finally opened my eyes, it was already too late. My hands and feet were burning. I was chained to the floor of a pitch black cell, unable to escape, screaming and writhing in pain. They had finally captured me and subjected me to the customary torture employed on those of my kind, because they knew I could pose no threat to them for as long as I was bound by the cold iron. Such was the curse imposed at the beginning of time on fairy and elven kind. My staff was nowhere to be seen, and the pain would not let me pronounce a single spell. Since I lacked the means to break free, all I could do was to wait. The pain. I know not how much time passed in reality, but the excruciating pain kept me only barely conscious until they arrived to drag me out of the dungeon. Was it hours? Days, perhaps? Does it even matter? Finally, I was taken to meet my captors, face to face. Welcome back to Cyber Neuro Druid, playing Episode 1, Scenario 9 of After the Storm, The Triad. Gus, you too. Well done, Kendria. Well done. I see that the little vermin fell into the master's trap as expected, and they brought the ruby of fire with them. Ha ha! What are you talking about? <laughs> Keep it shut, you fool. Let him be. After all, it would be bad form to not tell them our plans before disposing of their cells, wouldn't it? Ah oh, yes, the bad guys uh, explain their evil plot in an easily escapable death situation. Though it does look not particularly escapable right now. We would have killed you on sight, rats, but our master greatly wanted to see your faces one last time. You don't have a master. We killed him. We have reserves, my dear. You? As you can see, I am in charge of this place the Chaos Empire now. It is my intention to show you my gratitude for giving me this perfect opportunity to cleanse the path for Uriah to do her will. Erdia, like many other worlds, has certain anomalies which result in spatial connections forming between it and Inferno, where Uriah and her subjects live. These anomalies are very well protected and guarded by ancient demons who do not allow anyone to traverse the breach in either direction. Long ago, a group of sorcerers on this earth created a number of artifacts that could be used to close or open portals from one location of Erdia to another. Theoretically, those artifacts could also be used to create new, unguarded connections between Erdia and Inferno. The artifacts were replicas of an original that was thought lost long ago. We learned that after changing owners many times throughout its winding history, it came to be used as a symbol of the nation that would become responsible for creating Naya. At some point, somebody ordered its destruction so it would never again be misused by anyone in the land. Lots of uh, <laughs> huge amounts of 
backstory expo exposition just dumped on us at the beginning of this scenario. I literally wasted my life trying to find it. In the end, it found me instead, long after I gave up on my search. But of course, its bearer unwittingly brought it before my eyes while wielding a power I could not withstand, the power of the Union. Does this sound familiar to you? Had Argan known that the artifact existed and that his companion had always carried it with her, we would have settled this matter long ago. There would have been no need to trace the rifts created by Naya and her fallen sister. Instead of searching for the Ruby of Fire, we should have searched for the staff that once belonged to the Enchantress Nirione of Wesmere. Well done, then. It's yours now. What are you waiting for? Now that we have the artifact, we can use it to merge this pitiful world with Inferno. Dispel the curse of Illuvia. And reunite Uriah and the other guardians. To restore the initial order. Lovely exposition. Brilliant. Give me this. Now this belongs to us. Yes, it belongs to us. May I borrow it for a second, my lady? This is not over yet. Ah, ah. How did you... Kill the intruders. Kill them all now. Okay, completely mental start of this scenario. Um, our objective is to defeat all enemy leaders. There are enemy troops absolutely everywhere. Lose if Gallus Lanier Malkashar dies, despite the fact that the Linear can't move and Gallus is wounded. So my uh, obviously a crucial objective is to get rid of them. It doesn't look like I can go onto this pedestal, so I can't. Um, so defeating the enemy leaders by rushing them is not something that. Uh, I can do. This guy, interestingly, is a Shaxthal Warlord. We haven't seen one of those before. Looks pretty tanky. 99 hit points. Good melee attack. Uh, good arcane blast attack. Shock, which means that you don't retaliate with as many strikes. Um, but right now, what we need to worry about is the enemies who are in the middle of this place. So first priority is to make sure that Galas, Elinia, and Malkeshar don't get killed. I'm going to roll inwards with my troops in order to do this. Nice. Okay. I value the life of almost no one here. Um, they can really... they can all get... you know, get stuffed, basically. Um, that is absolutely fine. Can you reach anyone? Yeah, you can. You can reach this guy over here. You can't reach anyone else. Nor will you be able to if he's killed. So you come round. Okay, what about you? Good. You can come in here and attack this guy. Should get the kill. Yep. Nice. And there's plenty of people now who can uh, deal with the Chaos Razor Man who's level 3 who's over here. I mean, actually, I could use Malkeshar for that. Can you reach? You can't reach anyone else. You can reach him. I'm going to use Galas to slow this guy, I think. So I get some nice so I can get some nice melee hits on him from big hitters. Oh. 
modified um so you I'm gonna try and kill this guy with people who aren't Malkashar so Malkashar can go alright you're nice and wounded I can send in a zombie on you Nice. And then Malkesha can do this. Beautiful. And that's a level up for him. Over here, we've got. You can go through the water. I do want to kill you because I don't like these guys. Twenty-nine health. You probably won't get the kill. You can't attack anyone else. Um, you want to go suicide here? Yeah. Not dead. Almost dead, but not dead. So then you. There's going to be a couple of Doom Guard left after all this, but they're kind of slow and useless, so uh, not too fussed about that. Perfect. Alright, now the situation is looking a lot better. Um, this guy's going to come out probably and try and kill and succeed in killing this skeleton archer who's very weak. Um, might as well try and kill this guy, I guess. With the zombies. <laughs> this is not a long-term viable strategy. <laughs> Okay, that one survives. This Doom Guard is getting weakened. Not going to kill him this turn unless I. Well, wait, let's see. I could get lucky. No, I can't get lucky enough, sadly. Oh well, and that means my Dark Adept is probably going to be the target next time round. Okay, bring you up to here in case these guys decide to pull anything nasty. And I think we're good for turn two. Ah. And uh, it's nice that we are back to a fairly classic... Um, a fairly classic uh, Shikardi Queen scenario here with uh, lots of narrative, lots of dialogue and dungeon crawling. Very nice. <coughs> Rip. By the power you have bestowed upon me, Uriah, may the spells conferring life to the dead be cancelled now. Plot magic. What is this? Unbind the dust from this world and smite the unworthy descendants of Siael. This, is this the kind of powers possessed by Uriah? We need to get out of this place. Quickly! Kendria, call upon our new weapon. But we, we haven't finished. Reinforcements! Don't allow them to escape! That corridor is clear. It's our only hope. 
Okay, we've got a uh, comedy chase scenario now where some slow units come along. The same same objectives, six turns. Uh, Gallus and Ian Malkeshar have to survive. So the crucial thing is to get everyone up this way because they need to go through this gate. Um, it says I won't be able to recall any of these units later, um, which is code for don't don't worry about them getting brutally killed, basically. Good to know. Okay. All right. So in that case, I'm going to plonk this orc down here. Yeah, I'm going to plonk this orc here. Or maybe even here. Uh, yeah. So those guys are blocking the path now. Yeah, some nasty, nasty units, especially this Razor Man. Gonna figure out what to do with the rest. You go and get into a good defensive position. You. That's actually a shame I can't recall you. All right, so. Galas and Mal, you head up this way. Are you going to recruit troops? You probably are, aren't you? What about you? You should get into a defensive position as well. Can you defend here? Because that looks like it'd be a useful choke point, if so. But it looks like I can't move up here, and maybe they can't move down either. We shall see. Alright, let's bring it on! Okay, operation slow. No. Don't like the look of these guys. These are some soul hunters. These are extremely fast level 3 chaos units. This one in particular is going to pose an annoyance. So let's get going. Yeah, so this guy can actually reach Ilinia, which is a worry. Probably ought to put what's the actual objective? Move Gallus Ilinia or Malkashar to the exit location. Okay, well Malkashar is the one who's the least like uh, Gallus is the one who's least likely to get killed. Can I block Ilinia? And can I also block Yeah. Maybe that'll do. I'll put Gallus here. Put the adept here. The only person who can reach them is this soul hunter by quite a long shot. You can come over here. And then next turn I should be able to get away. Meanwhile, I don't want you to die, so I'm going to have you attack this doom guard just to be a minor irritation. Now I suspect I'm going to lose my experienced Dark Adept, but I can't recall them anyway, so that's fine. Oh, drones, we've got drones. Nice! Oh, very nice. Are these drones going to be able to attack this turn? No, fortunately not. That would have been completely insane if they'd been, uh, they'd had the power to do that. Alright, what am I going to do? Well, it said, I said I'm not going to be able to recall these units, but 
I might as well give him a little bit of experience before finishing up. So you... Um... That's, uh, you're on a hiding to nothing if you do that. Okay, you stay where you are, just in case. And everyone else, make a move! We must make haste before their reinforcements catch up with us. Which direction should we go? A slight breeze comes from the passage to our left. We should follow it. These passages are eerily vacant. I feel we are being led into a trap of some sort. Alright, objective, locate and exit. And once again, no recalls of units. Everyone's healed, which is nice. Everyone's healed up. So let's move on. Everyone is equal speed to... Um, the, we know that south is not the way to go. Let's go straight on and see what happens. Might as well put Malkeshar out in front since he is such an absolute beast. Malkeshar, we'll need some reinforcements to get through. Things are looking rather grim. We have not fully recovered from that demon's attack, and her guards are in hot pursuit. Our backup has most certainly been scattered or slaughtered by now. What do you plan to do now that this has turned into a suicide mission? Okay, no answer to that. Now you, Alinea, can go... That's not the right kind of mushrooms for you. But you can go to these mushrooms. And then Gallus... Uh, Gallus and Malkesha can move up. And these skeletons are going to be sacrificial buddies. They're going to stand here and protect us on good defense terrain. Oh, I've got a lot, quite a lot of people down there. Okay, those skeletons are not going to last long, so best to uh, just push on through here. Surprising that they're using their melee attack rather than their ranged attack. Is it a custom script or are they just complete dumbasses? Which theory are we going with? Dumbass or script? Of course, Shaxol wouldn't have good defences anywhere. Or wouldn't have bad defences anywhere, rather. Ah! Over the odds from those, uh, from those skeletons. Are we going up this little passageway here, or are we pushing straight through? It's actually not clear, because I could just kill these guys. So what's up here? Let's let's find out. Let's use Galas to... Ah, uh, no, I can't go that way. Okay, that's pretty misleading. I don't like these dead ends that don't go anywhere. Okay, so it's so it's pushing, pushing on and through, um, which means that I want to make sure everything's dead so nothing can poison a linear. So far, so good. Alright, that was worse, but it's healable. Uh, you, you... You I can lure out. I can 
can lure you out with a ghost, and if the ghost survives, which it should, it can heal. The only responsible course of action at this point is uh, sending these skeletons to their deaths. Okay, Alinea takes a little bit of damage, but it's uh, not the end of the world. Is this a dead end? Yes, it is. Scout with the ghost. Okay, we got more drones. And this one is going to get aggroed if I go down there. So I'll do that with Malkesh Shah. And the other one is not yet aggroed. Gonna need to move fast because drones do respawn. Or should I put Galas here? No, I don't want Galas to get poisoned. So I need to keep going onward and upward. Ah, oh, poor show, Mal. Skeletons can't even get in there. What a palava. Can you get the kill? No, not really. What about Gallas? Get a bow shot off. Not bad. Alright. So now, Ilinia. I must recall, can heal in forest type terrain. So you go there. Again, come lure out that drone because I want to be able to push forward. And you guys. Or in fact, you know, I'll lure you with the skeletons. Doesn't even matter if you kill them. Okay, there's another one up there, that's fine. Once the first one's out, I'll push further, a bit faster. With 21 turns. Well, we've already got a respawn. Alright, let's get out of here. Put Malkesha in the best possible defensive position. Put Alinea behind him. Where she can get some quick healing. Bring the ghost up here too. You can attack the ghost if you like, and we're nearly at some sort of this is there's gonna be a door or something here, I reckon. Uh no, not you. Galas, you need the healing more and you need to be in front more. So you go there. Ooh, you just keep going. And then this one is out of range. Excellent. Oh, come on! 60% defense! So frustrating! You guys will not be able to get levels afterwards anyway. So this is a job for Big G. Don't get poisoned. He didn't get poisoned. Good job, Gallus. All right, we can see more stuff. I can see a gate. That's good. More respawning drones, but once again they're out of range, so I've just got to keep this up. Alright, and apart from Malkeshar, everyone's now back up to full health. I'm gonna lovingly try and keep these skeletons alive. A gate. Let's strike it down. <laughs> Whoa! 
It's an ambush. Damn them all. I don't know if I'll be able to keep on with this for much longer. Whew, thanks, Mal. I've moved all my units. <laughs> Alright, so there's a big nasty sentry drone here, and I want to try and kill that in one shot. What's that? It's a Stormblade, level 3. Nasty. It's like a Rayblade, but it's got a ranged attack. What a stupidly overpowered unit. And there's some sort of box there. Maybe if I can kill them all, there's some special ability. It doesn't look like I can get through this exit either. Looks like I have to go where the ambush is. Oh well. You can't get far enough. Neither can you. So the three new skeletons are going to be the ones that have to dish out the beat down. And by beat down, I suspect what I mean is get utterly annihilated. Especially you. Hmm. It's a very nice Malkeshar ability to just be able to pull Undead out of your ass. Okay, probably gonna lose that ghost if he uses ranged attacks on me. Oh well. More respawning, I don't care. Oh no! Didn't think you'd do that. They're very keen on using their melee attacks. Why aren't they using their range? Oh yeah, you do it. Okay. Alright, so you stay where you are. Try and kill this drone. One hit will do the trick. You suicide onto the ray blade. Very nice. And you died, which is perfect. Now you... Galas gets the kill, and Galas does so without struggling too much. Without getting poisoned, crucially. Elinia... Let's have some Rayblade on toast, and now there are only these ones, these slightly more powerful units. I think what the trick is here is to put, position these two slightly more experienced skeletons so that they can fight the Rayblade, the Stormblade, and then... Yeah, I don't want Malkeshar to just run straight in there. I don't think that's healthy for him at all. Um, so I'm going to have him... Do this. And then these skeletons are gonna um four times six. They shouldn't be killed. They can't be killed. Not hitting very often here. You get some health. Uh, do you want to just come round and through? You can, I mean, yeah, because you can then block off Malkeshar from being attacked. So if this guy really wants to come and attack a ghost, well, I wouldn't be the one to object to that, I guess. Looks like he does. Hashtag interesting tactical choices. Okay, we are making slow but steady progress. This guy is just obscene. First strike as well. I want to weaken him up with some more skeletons before I go in with anything, uh, with anything more powerful like Malkeshar. Pity I don't have any slow. Although I do have a near. Yeah, probably this is the answer. Oh, 
Okay, better than it could have been, worse than I was hoping for. Now, Mal. It's running away. I just hope it's sufficiently damaged so that it won't attack us from behind again. We need to advance quickly. Okay, so we do need to go through that gate. All right, well, let's discover what's in this box, if anything. Nothing, okay. So let's get everyone else some health. Galas, don't just go and knock down the door. You wait a little bit for everyone else to catch up next turn, or the turn after that. Okay, Malkesha well, can't get very far, so that means I think everyone ought to take it relatively slow. These drones are going to respawn as well, so I'm going to need to get round. Okay, we're doing well on health, except for Analinia herself, who did get quite badly hit by that thing. Alright, ready to open the gate, I think. Some new. Okay. Looking around, this this doesn't look at all sketchy. It's like a river of some sort. This is fine. Yeah, just run out there. We're not down the gates anyway. Bit more experience from those skeletons. Okay, and we see slightly more. Alright, nothing yet. Maybe I have to move a hero across there for shit to start getting real. No, even that. Alright. Oh, there's some mushrooms. Get Elenia to the mushrooms. Get, get, get. This is a nice, peaceful river location. What the? Amidst the smoke from the explosion, a pair of red glowing eyes could be seen. You fools thought you could escape so easily from us, didn't you? I have not forgotten what you did to me. How does it feel to be at a disadvantage now? It doesn't have to be like this. Just give me the staff back and I will spare your life like you did with mine. Elinia. Follow this rail, quickly. Follow the underground rail and locate an exit. Okay, <laughs> that presumably drained Malkeshar a bit. The uh, extra pulling undead out of your ass ability uh, when you summon level 3 Draug with it, then that's quite something. Okay, so let's just keep progressing with my hero units. It would be nice to get some more health, but I think this looks like the end of the level, so probably won't need to worry about that too much. Just run with my heroes. Yep. 
you guys bring up for the rear. She's going to cast the undead killing spell again in a second, I think, so... 0% chance to hit, interestingly, as have all of these guys. Alright, so in that case, let's put some of them in defensive, better defensive positions. You 60% in the mushroom, you're not going to be very easily killable. What happens if I go this way? Is there anything up here? I could be, we could find out. Probably more drones. And the two of you can hold her. You run this way. You, you come past. Alright, a very narrative bit of the scenario here. Okay, Rip experienced level 1 skeleton, who won't be recallable. What happens up here? Mm, doesn't look like much interesting to happens up here. Okay, well I've got a ghost who's faster at scouting, but in any case, I'm going to get to the exit. Not the end of the scenario though. What now? Let's keep moving. Hopefully there is an exit ahead somewhere. Elinia? I'm fine. Don't worry. You haven't escaped, you know. Move. Okay, you can see one nasty droney boy. The linear could run in and attack him, but it seems like it's not the best course of action. Uh, let's stick Mal do the old trick of sticking Malkeshar out front and uh, letting him tank the damage from the drones. Gonna put Alinea here. Now they could come and poison her, and that would just be really annoying. Uh, she can. Yeah, you, you no. Okay, she can't unpoison, un but there are villagers here, so that that's better. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, they're going for the old suicide strategy. It would have been so much better for you all to give up. Yeah, well. Am I going to get gold from these villagers? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, there's another drone over there. Well, you'll be invisible if you go there. Which is cool. And Galas, you can just stand behind her. Usually the drones are a bit smarter about attacking with abilities that are actually good. This one... Oh, bollocks. Okay, Gallus is poisoned. Uh, we can sort that out later, it's fine. And by later I mean pretty much right now. Run for your lives, and the drones are respawning like the bosses they are. This is a weird scenario because you never know when you've really got to the end of it. Narrow passageways here. Oh, we got a glyph. Interesting.
And I'm with Galas. Oh, here comes everyone else. Uriah be damned. It's a dead end. It's more like a trap. You cannot blame me. I gave you one opportunity to reconsider your actions. I'm not giving you another. You made a big mistake in leaving the safety of the Northlands. I knew it. We are trapped. Not quite. There seems to be a passage behind that crack on the wall. Uh huh. Silly escapable death situation. Um, is anyone going to bother getting this glyph? It looks like it's just probably going to be a healing glyph, which I don't really need. So if that's the case, then my inclination is just to run straight past it and go up this narrow passageway. Yeah, do that. Doop -doo -doo -doo. This is fine. Okay, only two of the drones can reach Malkeshar, which is good. And that one made a good start by missing with uh, both of them. Helenia, the teleportation spell you learned back in Zochthanol, can you use it? I... I don't know. It wasn't really made to transport more than one person. And I haven't had a chance to try it myself. This is probably not the best moment to fiddle with unpredictable kinds of magic like this. As I said before, many mages have disappeared, attempting to master the power of teleportation. It's an option to consider, nonetheless. Okay, let's go, go, go! More drones, lovely. isn't good. Not good at all. No! Kill it! What? <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, so, Malkashar is not in fact dead, although he got did get taken down to two health on that turn. Good thing he had that uh, after maximum level advancement. Uh, Alright, so, I'm going to press forward, not with Malkeshar in the lead, and I could really use one of those healing glyphs now, but it looks like I'm coming to the end of the level, or at least the end of this section. I'm dealing the big damage to uh, Elinia there. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anyone in the immediate vicinity. Those drones are going to respawn soon, though. Nice open spaces. Perfect for drone ambushes. How far can you move, Mal? Okay, you can get next to this square. That's good. If drones are going to come from anywhere, they're going to come from over here. Which means that if you stand there, you should be able to protect him. Ah, oh, I hate being right. <laughs> um, okay, Malkeshar appears to have run out of magical undead summoning juice, which means that I'm going to have to kill this thing before moving on, I think. Try and do so in a sensible way, ideally with Galas. 
Yeah. Or should you slow? Probably best you slow. Okay, and now... Oh, that was pitiful. Let's see if Galas can uh, redeem himself next turn. Wow, that was a lot of misses there, Galas. You want to try that again? Okay, there you go. Get her after maximum level advance. I can get an extra bowler strike, that's tempting. Stealth, impact resistance. Mm, impact resistance is hand against drones. Still 10%, not as good as having 50% more bolus. I feel the same way about bolus that Christopher Walken feels about Cowbell, I think. You just always want more of it. Okay, looks like I have to go south here. But if I just nope out over here, will I be able to de-aggro these drones? There's a gate up here too. Uh, where am I going? Am I going south or am I going north? Well, no point one of my heroes getting far ahead of the others, so... Just come down here and heal up Mal. And now, get the hell out of there. Presumably by heading south. What's the range on these dudes? Okay, you can reach there. You can reach, you can reach the dude himself. You can sit yourself into pretty, yep, good. Galas, if you don't want to aggro that one in the back, you should just come and stand behind Malkesha, I guess. Okay, so this one's... Where did you come from? Interesting. Two of you down here, and this is... Lava? Looks like I have to go through here. This is less than ideal. Okay, this way I only aggro one of them, and it will probably attack Malkesha on the house. Can I knit back one? Yeah, there's no point, there's no point exposing a linear to attack. Good stuff. So many level 1 drones. At least they're not level 2 drones. We can't get around here. But I'm less convinced this passage is actually leading into... <laughs> to, to some sort of exit. What is the objective at this point? Locate an exit, yeah. Well, haven't located one yet. Looks like it ought to link back around here. OK, 
Okay, I'll bait the next one out, put Elenia there ready to heal Galas. Alright, good. You could come down here, I think. That eh, was pretty weak. Alright, little blip there, but you got there in the end, didn't you? Are there more drones down here? Bet my bottom dollar there are. Ah, oh, there's another glyph for healing. But I'm going to sit you here on this house so that you can heal your heal your ass. Okay, we've got a bridge. We've got a bridge. Little bit of pierce damage. Rubbish. Okay, there are more drones down here. Let's see if any of them come out to play. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, and we're all reasonable health now that Malkeshar has been healed up a bit. Um, used a, far, a few too many turns for that, more than I would have liked. But uh, let's see what happens in the next segment. This place stinks of blood! What's with that water? I fear that it is blood, in fact. Something is really wrong. No single creature could contain so much of it. Who knows what kind of twisted experiments these fiends do in here. There truly appears to be no way out of this chamber. What do we do? I'll tell you what. We shall create our own exit from this accursed place by tearing it all down from the inside. Or we could take the risk and... <laughs> no! You opted for doing this the hard way after all, didn't you? The staff. Hand it over now. Hi. <sighs> Elinia, we must... I... I damn you, Alyssa. I damn you and your kind. For this. My dear, we were damned long ago by the first gods. Your petty words are irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Hand it over now. Elinia, the spell. Don't you see? We are that different after all. You just lost your new beloved, just like you lost Argan. I lost much more than that long ago. You think he was important because you never had to endure the cruelty and ruthlessness of the beasts that dare call themselves humans. Stop listening to her, Elinia. What a waste. Don't think you'll find anything of value in Wesmere. It is really hard to acknowledge your own mistakes at times. It's especially hard to face reality once it turns against you by taking away those whom you love the most. Galas was more than just a friend. I could never tell him how I really felt. I could never tell him why I cared so much. After Argan's death, I swore I would not get emotionally involved with anyone again. There is no point in trying if this is the inevitable end met by all those around me. It has happened before, and yet, this feeling of emptiness, it is as overwhelming as ever. It's evident that my heart had already gotten too close to him. Lord Gallas of the Forest Elves of the Valley of Alinea, he who renounced his rightful place amongst his people to die fighting for a hopeless cause. Would that his death had been as heroic as the short life he lived. 
Would that we could have at least retrieved his body, instead of it being left to rot in that horrid lake of blood. Now am I on my own again, much like I was for much of my life. Even Argan, even after Argan first found me, even after he secretly married me. For neither in Westnoth nor the domains of the Elves was it considered acceptable to get involved in any way with men like him. If I had given them a chance to discover our secrets, we would both have been punished with death. I don't want to risk approaching Malkeshar. I know he had long since accepted Galas as his only friend. How am I supposed to face him when we both know this is all my fault? Because it was my reluctance that ultimately led to the young elf's demise and of the demoness. I don't know what to do anymore. But I do know that Galas would not have given up, no matter how great the loss. Not even Anlinde's sacrifice was enough to break his conviction that our fate could be changed. I have to carry on and put a stop to the plans of Elita and the Iron Council. Somehow. I have to, even if it might require a sacrifice of my own. Wow. Nice music, nice dramatic moments. Uh, we've just lost the character who we played all the way through the campaign Invasion from the Unknown, the leader of that campaign, the one who could recruit troops, the person who could recruit troops for most of this campaign as well. That is a very drastic narrative scenario. And it's a lovely emotional moment. And it's a great spot to uh, leave it, I'm afraid. So that's the end of this video. Um, hopefully I'll catch you next time. <laughs>